Hello and welcome to the New York Immigration Coalition's Access and Navigation video series. My name is Katerina and I'm the Immigrant Services Support Fellow at the NYIC and I will be your host. This series is designed to help immigrant New Yorkers access and navigate the various resources and protections available to them in our city. Today we will be discussing forms of identification and the resources available to help you apply for one in New York City. We'd like to thank the New York City Council and the Department of Youth and Community Development for sponsoring this video. Today we will be discussing what is a form of identification, what are the benefits of having an ID, what are different types of identification, and how to apply for an ID NYC. A form of identification is a document that proves your identity. Acceptable forms of identification can include driver's licenses, social security cards, birth certificates, passports, and more. If you are a New York City resident and are looking to obtain a form of identification, we will be providing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to apply for one. But first, why do you need an ID? There are many benefits to having a form of identification. A form of identification is required to do the following in New York City. Apply for city services and benefits like SNAP, cash assistance, and Section 8. Apply for health insurance through the New York State Health Insurance Marketplace. Prove identity for employment when given with proof of work authorization to employers. Prove identity with the New York Police Department. Qualify for affordable housing through New York City Housing Connect. Enter city buildings that provide services to the public like schools. Check out books from the New York, Brooklyn, and Queens Public Library. Register at many New York City health and hospital facilities. Access your family's immunization records. Open a bank account at some banks in New York City and take the high school equivalency exam in New York City. Now that we have discussed the benefits of having a form of identification, we will walk through the different types of IDs available in New York City. There are many acceptable forms of identification. Here are some of the more common forms. A driver's license is a valid form of identification in New York. With the passage of the green light law, all residents of New York State, regardless of immigration status, have equal access to driver's licenses. If you would like to learn more about green light, how to navigate the application process, and obtain a driver's license, regardless of your status, please watch the NYIC's What is Green Light YouTube video. This video will be linked in our description box below. Next, a library card. Any person who lives, works, attends school, or pays property taxes in New York State is eligible to receive a New York Public Library card free of charge. The link to apply for a New York Public Library card will be also linked in our description box below. A school ID card is also an acceptable form of identification in New York. If you are in high school, you can speak to your advisor or guidance counselor about obtaining a school ID. Colleges and universities typically give students school IDs as well. Another acceptable form of identification is an ID NYC. We will now do a more in-depth walkthrough of how to obtain a free city ID card for New York City residents. ID NYC is a free government issued photo ID card. It can be used to access any of the programs and services we discussed. To obtain an ID NYC, you must be 10 years of age or older and a New York City resident. ID NYC is accessible to those that are undocumented, formerly incarcerated, or homeless. To determine your eligibility for an ID NYC, you must complete a short survey. We are going to start by visiting access.nyc.gov slash programs slash IDNYC. Select determine your eligibility and select am I eligible. This is the beginning of the survey. Select the kind of help that you're looking for and be sure to select the city ID card. This is a general disclaimer that you'll accept and select continue. Enter your age and your zip code here. Select all that apply to you here as well as below. If you have an income, select yes and indicate what type from the list.
if you have any expenses, select what type of expenses you've had most recently from this list. Indicate how many people are in your household here. Select all that applies to you here as well as below. Review the information that you have selected and ensure that it's correct. All right, so based on my results, I'm eligible for 16 programs. A free city ID is included as I meet the requirements for one. In addition to passing the eligibility screening, you will need to prepare some documents before making an appointment. IDNYC uses a point system to prove your identity and where you live. To apply, you will need to provide at least four points of documents, including proof of your identity, proof of where you live, at least one of your documents must have your photo, and at least one document with your date of birth. This point system can be a bit confusing. You can ensure that you have the correct documents to apply for an IDNYC by filling out their document calculator. Once again, we are going to start by visiting this link at the bottom of your screen. We have reviewed how it works and how to determine your eligibility. Now select what you need to include. Here is the point system that we just reviewed. Select the IDNYC document calculator link. This calculator will help you determine if you have the correct documents needed to be eligible for an IDNYC card. We will review two examples. As you can see, there are many documents that you can use to prove your identity and demonstrate your eligibility for an IDNYC card. For the first example, let's say I have a foreign passport and a banking statement. After selecting those two documents, the results box turns green, which indicates that I have the correct documents to apply for an IDNYC card. I hit reset selection so we can review another example. For the second example, let's say I have a US permanent resident card and a current residential property lease or sublease. Once again, after selecting those two documents, the result box turns green. This indicates that I have the correct documents needed to apply for an IDNYC card. Continue using this calculator until you can be sure you have everything you need to apply. If the survey determines that you are eligible and the calculator has approved of your documents, you are ready to make your appointment for an IDNYC card. For the last time, we are going to start at the link at the bottom of your screen. Now select how to apply. You can choose to view the enrollment centers near you prior to booking your appointment, but I'm going to jump right into booking the appointment. Notice here that IDNYC is currently requiring appointments to apply for an IDNYC card, so this is a necessary step. Select Book Now. Select whatever best applies to you, but we're going to select Apply for an IDNYC card. Select Make an Appointment. Type out your first name, last name, phone number, and email address. Indicate your preferred date and time for an appointment. Select your borough and your preferred enrollment center. As you can see, there are no appointments available at my preferred enrollment center for the date and time I selected. However, they have suggested future appointments around my preferred date, time, and location. Select your preferred appointment time and then submit. After scheduling your appointment, you are all set. To prepare for your appointment, you will need to do the following. Print and fill out the application form for 10 to 13 year olds and for 14 years and older ahead of time and bring it to your appointment, or you may fill it out at your appointment. Applicants 14 and older can submit applications online before going to an enrollment center. Collect your documents and bring them with you to your appointment. Your ID photo will be taken during the appointment. These application forms will also be linked in our description box below. As mentioned before, having a proper form of identification allows you to access many programs and services. 
IDNYC has created a guide detailing all of these benefits, which is also available in multiple languages. This guide will be linked in our description box below. If you have any questions regarding IDNYC, please feel free to use the following resources. Visit the IDNYC website for more information on how to apply. Email IDNYC to get your questions answered. Call 311 and ask about IDNYC. Or find an IDNYC enrollment center near you to get help in person. To wrap up, today we have discussed why having a form of identification is important, the benefits of having an ID, different types of identification, and how to apply for an IDNYC. If you would like to refer to the references used throughout this video, they will be available in the description box below. If you are in need of legal services, please contact Action New York City at 1-800-354-0365 or at their website. If you are based in New York State, please contact the Office of New Americans at 1-800-566-7636 or at their website. Both of these websites will be available in our description box below. If you would like to learn more about how forms of identification can be used when stopped by ICE, and more generally about your rights in New York City, please request a Know Your Rights workshop for your school or organization by emailing kyr at nyic.org. Or you can visit nyic.org slash kyr to view the resources available to you. There are several resources available in different languages, as you can see here. If you are interested in what services and events are happening near you, please refer to the NYIC list, New York City COVID-19 Resources and Services Guide. Access the guide using the link shown here. This guide is updated weekly with the latest resources and services that are happening in education, employment, finances, food, healthcare, and small business fields. To view a different topic, you can select its tab towards the bottom of the page, as just demonstrated. The next video in the Access and Navigation video series will be focused on safe spaces and will be released in the beginning of June. Please email events at nyic.org with any questions. To stay involved with the New York Immigration Coalition, please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and take care.